Hello everybody, it's Violet from Journal Art Papery. Um, just doing a, a quick flip through and I mean it, it's going to be a quick bitty. I uh, just wanted you to see my finished journal. Um, took me a couple of days to get my videos sorted. I, I'm just not sure what happens when I try to do videos and upload them. I have crazy days full of trying to get it up online. So yeah, this one's hopefully going to go up a little bit sooner than the last one. But this is the finished journal. Um, she's a beauty. She's, you can see on the edge here, it's quite, quite a nice wide one. Um, I did talk about the ephemera, uh, making it quite a chunky type of journal, but this is my thing, this is my style, <laughs> vintage style, you all the way. <laughs> okay, so um, the front cover, as you can see, has got this lovely lady on it with this beautiful moulding of roses. I'll just bring that up so you can see it a bit better. And um, that's just the front cover. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I have this lovely lace just for the, the tie and I have to pull it down quite quite a bit to tie it because it's got a lot of ephemera in it and I've already said that. <laughs> so let's, let's open it up. So the inside, I've put this um, doily here. I've sewn it to the cover, front and back, and I've just left it as a bit of a pocket there for this lovely journal card that I made the other day um, just scanned in one of my designs that, that I had previously and um, makes a lovely journal card just for writing on so that goes in the front cover there put that back now the, the middle I didn't put anything here because I didn't want to stick down this lovely lovely doily I didn't want to you know have anything hindering that so I've just left that on its own I could have sewn another pocket or something on there but I just love the look of it so I've left it as it is and um, the inside cover consists of the watercolor background this is actually watercolor card these are just um, stenciled um, texture roses here the inside of the cover or the inside cover, <laughs> inside, inside cover, just has this lovely uh, vintage piece of linen. It was a doily. I, I chopped it into, oh, no, I didn't chop this one. I sewed it onto the, the back cover here. So you've got this on the front and you'll have another one on the back. You'll see that in a moment. And inside this pocket, I've just placed a little card, just a, an empty card, that I've put some lovely texture on there with a stencil front and back. So that just goes in there. Um, this is a, a piece of vellum that I have put one of my shabby roses on. You're going to see the shabby roses all through here. But um, just placed it there. You can be able to write on both sides of that. It's really quite a thick, good quality vellum that. And so that's just there. Uh, that beautiful... Uh, printed paper that I showed you. I have these on my Etsy for as a vintage download, a wallpaper download. And uh, this is actually printed onto vellum. I mentioned that in my last video. What I've done is I've just sewn some of that beautiful vintage satin across both sides of that. So you can see that. So you can write on this. It's really beautiful to write on. Um, and again, these lovely journal cards here. I've just stuck one down. I've placed some satin on the one side of it just to show that it was a pocket there. And I've popped something in there, which is one of those lovely pieces of ephemera. That's a little um, envelope. And so things can go be stuck in there and put in there or can be given away as a gift wrapped type of small gift. So that one goes in there. This here is the uh, sturdy piece of card that has been Parisian stained. And I love, love the way that came out. And on the other side of that, you have um, the little rose um, put together with lace and um, pattern paper for dressmakers paper, as well as some beautiful vintage grease proof paper and diamantes. I did decide to go ahead with just a little journal card here. I'm trying to hold it down. It's a little bit chunky. I didn't want it to, to fold up. Just a little hand-painted card there. 
a journal card and goes in this lovely pocket. Let's have it peeking out so it looks pretty. And what I've done here is I've sewn this lace down to the page and you'll see that on the opposite side. It's quite a lovely long uh, vintage doily and so that's sewn down. I didn't sew the underside, I've just sewn it along the side there. And this is beautiful handmade paper. I purchased quite a few years back on someone's Etsy shop and I couldn't tell you who, it was such a long time ago. I'll just pop that in back in there so that's for more writing if you should so desire and on the back of this I've just placed a little piece of one of my shabby roses there with a um, piece of that beautiful French handmade paper and just put a couple of little doilies on there they've been um, coffee stained these two and I'll just pop that back in there that's where that lives and again another lovely just a plain bookmark this time now that can be just a journaling um, piece as well and I just love the design the pattern on here so I didn't put anything on it and this was made with some Parisian essence and um, beetroot powder um, that was the stain that I used on that particular day for for these I've done a whole pile of so that just pops in there yeah, and a little piece of handmade paper in there on this lovely framed woman um, where are we? okay so what I did what I noticed when I did the video the other day I had this on this side and this piece here was joined to this and when I opened it up, I thought, gee, I'm a silly belly because no one's going to be able to write on. They can write on one side, but not on the other side because it would have been over on there. It just wouldn't have worked. So what I did was I cut it off and I placed some gorgeous washi tape that blends in with everything else just down the edge of that vellum. And I have... Um, put this stuck this on here and made a pocket out of it instead of having it here as a page I've put it over here so you can actually write on that piece of card and I did make a pocket out of it and so I've got this little another little piece of my shabby art there which I call them shabby because they're very quick watercolor and they're my signature rose that I paint on all my envelopes that I sell um, stickers and things like that from my Etsy shop so I usually have either a hand painted design on all the envelopes that go out um, this here is just one of those cards with the rose on it so that's a it's a white on the background but that doesn't matter it's still quite beautiful and uh, that goes in that pocket there Obviously, whoever gets this journal can put it wherever they want, but I've just put it here. I just have to get it back in now and close that down. All right. uh, this is just a little piece of that um, beautiful uh, digital download that I've printed onto vellum and made a little pocket with the satin out of it there. This is, again, the, the little um, vintage wallpaper with my beautiful rose on there as a wax seal inside this is vintage paper it's not been sewn in i've just stuck it in with a, a little bit of thread around it so that goes in there um i decided to put this piece of bag that i stenciled texture paste onto onto this little piece of paper here i just thought it needed something more than just this little print so i've made a mini pocket out of it where i've just put a like a lace card so you can wrap some lace around that one i do have some lace in here that is yeah has been um, wrapped around the card similar to that <laughs> so that you can put your own lace on that um, another journal pocket here and all i've done is popped a, a pink journal card in there and just a bit of lace there I've put some stickers in these are my lovely rose and butterfly design stickers so I feel whoever gets this can just pop them throughout the journal if they should choose or but this is my original design I do have a different design on my rose stickers now I don't have the butterflies 
in with the roses anymore but I have many more roses but these are still wonderful I just don't sell this particular one on my Etsy store anymore so you're, you're in luck you get that <laughs> and they just live in there another shabby rose that I've painted and this is a stained envelope what I did was I antiqued the envelope and then painted the design on top and the envelope just lives there and inside the envelope, I don't know if I'm out of shot here or not, I'll just bring it across slightly, but this is just a, a very thick card piece that I've actually done some stenciling with texture paste on there and placed a little bird moulding on there. It can be used any in any way, I suppose, but I've just left it plain. I just like the cream on the white, so that one goes in there. And I'll get it back in does actually go in it's just a matter of me feeling around getting it back in okay so that'll do that's in there that's just the opposite side to that other little piece around the back there again another little journal pocket that's been made with um uh just the vintage download for the vintage wallpaper and it's on vellum again so it's nice and sturdy and I've just sewn that beautiful vintage um, satin around it and again another one of these little envelopes I love that design I love my washi tape on the back there it looks really cool and that goes in there these can be used if you're giving a little gift um, you know just pop it in there and seal it up and it's just a beautiful little decorative gift wrap um, again I've put the molding of the rose on this handmade envelope this was a um, just a piece of paper that I had Parisian stained and um, just created a an envelope or a pocket kind of thing out of it and then just popped it on the back there is a pocket in the front so this here is actually a pocket and the pocket is also behind it and I've just placed another bookmark there behind that so that just it's gorgeous I love these these are made out of that um, you know the utensil uh, packets that you can get when you go to restaurants <laughs> silly me gathers them up every now and then and decided to make some ephemera out of them I thought you can put something in that it just seemed like a waste to throw it out so that's what I've done. I've just placed a gorgeous stencil design on the front with texture. Cream on. Now this paper behind here is a beautiful copy paper that came in a book and it was true vintage. So it gives you the cream when you put the white on it. It just is cream so you can see it when you've got it in your hand. Obviously you can see it better. But And just added the moulding and some vintage material down the side there. So you can make that a little cover you can you know do whatever you like with it really <laughs> but I just like to make decorative things out of not junk but you know things that people would normally throw away I just figure why throw it away you can do something nice with it and again that other piece of vellum that comes through the other side just there another pocket some of that vintage lace I showed you in the last video just in there Again, with the cheesecloth gauze sewn onto the pocket. Okay, so this is actually a clip-on. So I've just clipped it on, and this is the pocket that I showed you the other day with the lovely card, and that just opens up into a journal card you to write on with that beautiful IOD rose stamp on there. It goes back there. Where are we? Just want to get it in the pocket. It does go in easily. I'm just being a bit fiddly with my fingers here. There we go. So that goes, just gets clipped onto there with this lovely clip. And this is just a piece of vellum with a little hand painted rose, just sits under there. Again, this other side of that lovely vintage doily comes across here that's been sewn there so it's nice and sturdy um, needs to be because I'll put this beautiful little journal in there this is just one of the handmade journals that I have a video on so if you want to go and have a look at one of my other videos you'll find not this design but another journal that I've just put up on Etsy for sale 
the little minis and the beautiful vintage lace here with the um, clay uh, molding there this is an iod mold um, design and so this paper it was just a 12 inch piece of paper that i've made this cute little um journal pocket out of and what i've done here is i've just placed one of my beautiful rose wax seals to this paper and um, just a little note that out of it so that goes in there again just another couple of pieces oh no just the one piece of vellum i did put a journal uh, card in there it's just plain but it's been beautifully stained and just some paper in that one I was probably a little bit lazy with it but i think it's just really a sweet little pocket and if you want to do de dar it up any further you can but um, just these lovely little pieces of paper just fitted in beautifully with that. So that's where that one lives. Just popped it in, popped it back in there. And another pocket uh, on the top. <laughs> that's just decorative, obviously, even though I just tried to open it. <laughs> it doesn't work because <laughs> the pocket's up the top. And this is just another bookmark with I don't like to call them bookmarks because they can be really journal strips uh, for you to journal on but just beautifully stained so that one goes in there and this I've sewn down this side and glued this side down um, so I like to put some stitchery in I don't do a lot of sewing necessarily into my journals but I do like to have something in there that represents a skill and this gorgeous stained paper another journal pocket here this has just got a lovely piece of uh, card that has been uh, embossed with a beautiful rose design i'm not sure if that's showing up because of the white but it is just really pretty so that, that goes there get in there behave and i've sewn the pink along the edge again with that beautiful vellum I just think that makes that look so pretty. Again, the other opposite end of the vellum. And this is the opposite end of the other linen part of the doily. I've sewn it into the back cover so it's not going anywhere. And I've just stuck it down, made a pocket out of it. Placed another one of these gorgeous envelopes in there with a journal card. So that's where that lives. This is the first part of the signature. This is the end of the signature and I've got another one of those gorgeous journals. Uh, this is actually a journal pocket, not so much a journal because it's got no paper paper in it. <laughs> uh, the ones that I put on Etsy um, do have the paper. I'll just show you quickly if I can find them. Yeah, these are, these are they. So I've just placed those on Etsy, that one and that one and they do have paper inside them so they are a mini journal they also have some lovely little bits of ephemera in them um yeah you've got hand painting on both sides of them there very nice that one and the blue one has got this gorgeous cameo mold on the front of it this is an iod mold as well this one isn't but this one is and uh, inside that's just a couple of little mini pocket journals with some hand-painted um, forget-me-nots on them uh, where are we this side so yeah again just some lovely molded paper uh, not molded um whew, stenciled and it's got that gorgeous um not embossing but it's just a raised uh, area that I've done with texture paste and one of the beautiful uh, wax seals Against another moulding there, another mini journal on the back there. So yeah, I've just listed these two. Uh, but this one is just, I've got the beautiful butterfly. Not a butterfly, I don't know why I keep saying butterfly for this thing. Uh, even, I even put them on as butterflies the other day and had to change it there. It's a bee, it's a bee, it's a bee. So I've just made a little pocket out of that, which you can get on Etsy as well. Um, and just place some ephemera, some hand-painted stuff in there and just some handmade ephemera in there. And again, more there, more there in the back. That's just so, I love that. I love the design of that paper. 
So if you haven't already, go and check out how to make them. They're really quite lovely to make and quite easy to make. You know, they're not a difficult thing at all. Um, this is the insert and I've decided to call this a folder rather than a journal because I, while I sewed and glued all the material onto here, um, I didn't sew in the paper. What I've done is I've just broken up the paper into three pieces on either side so that's just a paper pocket you could put anything in it but it's quite a lovely lovely fold of that uh, all vintage materials and doilies and and lace so that one goes there now this the back journals I uh, back part of this journal rather I don't tend to put a lot of ephemera in as I mentioned before but I did put a little bit in and um, just put her on the front of this back cover and I decided to turn them turn the covers upside down so I've got the larger part here and the smaller part at the back and you'll see why in a minute uh, again lovely watercolor paper or card there and on the inside I've placed this beautiful 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 doily here and um, a true vintage obviously uh, along with this hand painted piece of ephemera which is something that I painted again it's it's just really uh, it's a card that was photo paper that's the back of it it was shiny but when I painted it it became matte because I used um, the Josonia artist paints and um, yeah I must have varnished it matte or something but it came out really lovely and so that's the last of them I'll have to paint some more and I've just put some stamp words on over the top of it so that one goes in there just so that you know that that's a pocket there and again you've got this lovely um, raised design of the rose there and on the inside what I've done is I've also placed another one of those lovely little cards so it's just an open out card there goes in there pop it up this way right more vellum there I've placed a pocket on here with a card it's not really a card it's it's wrapped around vellum just some lace and a bulb pin just to keep it in place the rest of it is pretty much you've got the hand painted rose you've got my other hand painted roses that have been printed onto this paper um, I did mention this one the other day and I thought I would show you the original that I painted and this is it here just on a journal card so if you look at it that's my original painting and what I did um, I also mentioned that I'd painted the Chanel um, bottles so I've just painted them pretty much onto to card or journal cards but what I did was I put this in a design and place this rose up the top but I made it much smaller obviously and put it on the top or on the bottom I can't remember which now and did the same with the cocoa so I painted these but silly me didn't realize that even in just painting them I can't sell them uh, in any way because they breach copyright now I didn't even think about that when I did paint them but Etsy wasn't too happy they pulled down my because I had the Chanel stickers I thought oh people will love those and I didn't even think that you know they, they were going to be breaching any copyrights so I've had to take them down so these are just for me now <laughs> um, I make stickers and I put them in my own books and things like that but yeah, I thought they were really cool. I love those paintings and the way they came out. It took me all afternoon to do both of these. But yeah, flowers, I'm pretty pretty quick at doing flowers. But I just love, love them all. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you the originals. And while I think about it, um, the, the paper that I used, I couldn't remember which um, book I got it from, but I got it from this lovely Floral Couture and inside it i think i've got up the wrong way here uh, yeah inside it you got all these magnificent pieces of paper or card and um yeah i couldn't resist it but once once i bought it i went back the next day to get another one just showing you very quickly some of the designs went back to get another one the next day and there were none left <laughs> So there's that beautiful design in one of the pockets. 
But yeah, it's just really, really beautiful paper inside. So if you ever find it, grab it because it's like hen's teeth, very rare, <laughs> very difficult to find. And for me, it wasn't expensive the day that I bought it. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I remember thinking, wow, that was pretty good price, you know. So silly me, I should have... There are only two left. I bought it at Spotlight, but there are only two left. And um, I just... <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't grab the two on the day. But yeah, I've used quite a bit of this just to make those lovely journal pockets and mini journals. So I just thought I'd let you know it was from Floral Couture. I don't know whether this is DCWV or DWCV or whatever, but that's the actual paper. So if you're looking for it, you can um, yeah find it. It's a premium stack, whatever that means. But 36 sheets in there, and I thought it was really well worth it. Again, we'll get back to this. Um, not much more in here. These are mostly just pages for journaling on. Um, the frame I decided to put in the back on the cover so it's nice and sturdy. I mentioned that in my previous video, just getting ready for this. Another little piece of vellum and hand-painted uh, trim on that. And um, I, I left that there so that whoever gets this journal will know that they can put a photo or a picture in there themselves so they'll know that that's a pocket with a frame that has been beautifully um, crackled it's got a lovely crackler on the around the whole frame so that's that's the inside back cover and again we've got the pocket here and I've just placed another one of those journal cards in there so that's the back cover and that's the journal and that's that's the back that's the way it sits and this is the front the way it sits and I'll try and <laughs> try and wrap it up without I usually when I wrap them up I, I do press them down so that they have got some semblance of normality at the front but just uh, just tie it up in a bow um, just turn it around so I can see it better and just tie it up in a bow at the side so I, I like to try and make all my journals different as far as how they're um, how they're tied up whether it's a, a piece of lace or whether it's ribbon or whether it's a, a lock or whatever but I felt that this really worked for this journal and that's the end of that so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've been on screen because I haven't been watching. I've just been looking at the journal. But yeah, thank you so much for looking at my video. Uh, feel free to share it with your friends if you think they might be interested. This one is up on Etsy and someone has asked me to reserve it for them. But yeah, there we go. So thank you. thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll get some more videos up in the near future. Bye for now.